Hello and welcome to this next lesson of this course where we are going to look at adding a button to our worksheet to trigger that macro. So I'm looking at putting a button maybe around about here on the worksheet that I can click to trigger our protect formulas macro. So we've already seen adding buttons to the toolbar at the top, probably the most popular place to put a button, then the ribbon and now we're looking at on the sheet. A kind of third and final way for now of action in the macro. Now to do this, up on our ribbon, uh, we will need a tab called a developer tab, which at the moment is not visible on my ribbon. You may have it on yours, you may not. Uh, it's not shown by default, so there's a fair chance you don't, unless you've dabbled with macros and VBA in the past. But it should be at the end here. Now to bring that uh, into our view, to make, make it available to us, I'm going to right click anywhere along that ribbon and go for customize the ribbon. And on here I can see this checkbox on the right hand side which I can tick for developer which is going to make that developer tab visible on our screen. So I'm going to tick developer, click OK and now the developer tab is available to us and with that tab uh, visible now we have this insert button roughly halfway along that list of commands we have and I'm going for the very first control which is our button form control give that a click we will then need to draw it onto our sheet so I've got this crosshair on my mouse I'm just going to click and drag to roughly draw the size of a button that I want. We can always move or resize it after, so we don't need to be too accurate at this point. But as soon as I release my mouse button, Excel will prompt me for what macro I would like to assign to that button. I'm going to choose the Protect Formulas macro here and click OK. So now I have a clickable button that will run that macro. Next logical task here, I guess, would be to change that name. Button 1 doesn't really signify what it does, so I'm going to call it Protect Formulas. And I'm going to take that a step further if I can. There's trouble uh, selecting that text there. I am going to make that text bold. And that's it. Maybe make the button a tiny bit larger. So we can play around with the formatting aspects, resize it, change the format of the text. You're limited to what you're allowed to do. Well, I can see the amount of grey options we have along the top here. And there's not that much I can do to that button. But there are some formatting elements we can do. <coughs> Sorry. As soon as I click away from that button, it becomes live. So I can see as I have my mouse that that button is now ready to go. If I was to click it, it would run that macro. If I right mouse click on it, it will then take me back into this kind of design view aspect of it. So I can look at edit that text. Or maybe now just click on my button. I've got a potential to edit the text there, move it maybe, resize it, anything I might be, else I might be looking at doing. The moment I click off it again, it's back and it's become live. So that is us adding our button form control onto our sheet. Now before we look at tidying this video up, it's probably worth a mention that we can also assign macros uh, to other clickable objects, not just buttons. So for example, I could go to the insert tab and insert a shape onto this worksheet. And some of the benefits of inserting a shape over a button may be that they're more versatile. You know, there's a greater aspect that you can format it as there is to them grey buttons. Now I don't have to pick something crazy, I could just pick a rectangle. So it's going to look like that button. You know, that's the look I'm going for. But as I draw it in, you know, the, the difference is clear. You know, I've got this blue colour and immediately the drawing tools tab livens up gives me the potential to format it uh, further should I want to. 
I can start typing and that will start adding some text onto there so I can add text just the same that text will also need a little bit of tidying up so I could just spend a quick two seconds doing that the center this stuff bold it make it black here we go looking a bit better and the final step would be to assign the macro the most important thing to it to do that I'm going to right mouse click on the shape and go to assign macro fantastic I'm going to assign the protect formulas macro click OK and I now have two buttons that will run this formula if I click off that shape it's live so now if I click the shape is protected. Let me pop up to the review tab and unprotect that sheet. And also, if I click my button, same job. So both of them will trigger that macro. Buttons on on a sheet, very popular for macros that run off kind of forms that get filled in, uh, or to position on dashboards and other kind of uh, analysis sheets and reports. Uh, that sort of scenario.